My name's John Kayser, tattooist from Leicester. Been tattooing probably about 20 years, specialising in black and grey realism and Japanese. Um, I went into tattooing because, mainly because I was doing, I, I did a few jobs after leaving school, did a bit of college work, stuff like that. Art college didn't really grab me. Um, felt it was a bit uh, low key for what I wanted to do as far as like inspirational stuff. It was just pretty basic stuff really because I didn't have uh, enough qualifications to go to uni. So traditionally tattooing is um, a business, well a craft that attracts people of that kind of, who want to sort of make a living for themselves. I just wanted to make a future for myself really. As apprenticeships, uh, traditional apprenticeships go, mine wasn't very, uh, what you call a traditional apprenticeship, so I didn't spend a hell of a lot of time sort of mopping floors, making teas, scrubbing grips, stuff like that. Um, I was quite, I say lucky, because I'm mostly self-taught. I say lucky because I did a, a short apprenticeship, but um, like maybe it would have, I would have learnt faster if I did a longer apprenticeship instead of learning on the job. But as such, the shop I was at at the time didn't really have a, a, a stable tattooist as such of, of a quite high quality to learn from. So I sort of taught myself There was a few, a few guys that I so like. I went to another shop for a week and sort of like shadowed this guy, but he was he was working in a, a very uh, in a walk-in fashion, uh, literally tattooing for the money. So he was he was he was he had a waiting room full of people, and he'd just say you're next, you're next, and they'd just plow through tattoos all day long. And it's not really what it it helped my tattooing technically and um, what best setups are, learning how to tune machines and stuff like that. But artistically, I sort of tried to put the money aside a bit for a while and like doing stuff I wanted to do for cheap. And also uh, like I went back and did paid to do some uh, like drawing classes, like life drawing classes and stuff at university. Concer concentrated on drawing instead of concentrating on trying to earn money. So I improved my artwork to improve my tattooing, which improved my how, how many people, how booked up I was and how, uh, how much cash flow came in. I think, I think, I think tattooing changed a lot with the, with the invention of social media, in good and bad ways as well, that sort of thing. Uh, the bad ways being, it sort of became less about the tattooing and, and people started to view themselves as like, a bit of a minor sort of Instagram for celebrity and stuff like that. And people didn't communicate with the customers as much. They were, they were not tattooing stuff. They were not listening to what the customer wanted. They just took like, I wouldn't say it was the easy route. I understand why people do it, but sort of like they wanted to, only to do what they want to do. And, it, and if you're not interested in that, you're not getting tattooed by me sort of thing. And, and, and I think the ego sort of took over which now I'm noticing, now we're like 10 years into like Instagram, there's that many good artists now that, whereas you used to go on Instagram and find a good artist and you'd travel to say, I don't know, like hours away to get a certain piece of a certain artist. Now you can get that in any major city and you don't have to travel anymore. The thing of Instagram is great for promotion and people like book through you, but I don't get anyone travel anymore. I get people who live in Leicester because people know that they don't have to go miles and miles to get a decent quality of tattooing. 